and welcome to another episode of Stamp Time with Miss Jane. Today I'm playing with a little technique called Joseph's Coat. Step one. Step two, I'm bringing in the Simply Fabulous stamp set and my stamp and pierce mat to lean on and I have some flowers and leaves from that stamp set and my Versamark ink and I'm going to hit going to go ahead and just randomly stamp some of these images now this is going to be one of those tricky ones because it's clear and you won't know where you've been and I'm also going to be covering it with clear embossing powder so you know, just to make life that bit more trickier. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of clear embossing powder to this corner so that I can work out where I have been. And a little thing I should have done was to rub my embossing buddy over that before I started. Okay, now I can see where I have been there. And on this other side, I'm just going to rub my embossing buddy so that hopefully the clear embossing powder doesn't stick so much to it. Okay, so we have flower, leaf, 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 flower. And add a bit more clear powder so I can see where I've been. If I bring this up and try and turn it on the side, I don't know if you can actually see where I've been until I use my, my heat tool to heat this up. But I am just randomly making a floral, flowery, leafy pattern. Okay, heat to your time. Just let that sit a little bit. Make sure it is cooled down and not tacky. And you would generally come in with a black and go over the top of this. I'm going to come in with Night of Navy. It's a dark colour, so dark colour should work. And give that a try. Now, <clears throat> you can use a blending brush and come in with this. I am not patient enough for that. So I am going to actually just bring my ink pad and rub it over the top. And hopefully not wreck it the ink pad or the piece of paper. And that works. See, who needs to waste their time using a piece of tissue? Waste their time using a blender brush on this when you can just go whack-a-doodle straight with the machinery. Straight with, straight with the and then I do want to come in and just shine up over the top of the flowers where I've clear embossed to make those colours pop and I can see some splotches in here that's where the embossing powder has actually hit and stayed on the on the paper because I didn't use my embossing buddy at the start. Silly girl, Miss Jane. That was a boo-boo. So don't follow my boo-boo. What do you reckon? And that's how Joseph's coat is done and it looks really pretty these colors really pop with the shine of 
the clear embossing powder. Now to turn this into a card. So to create a card, I've cut my piece into a circle. Now I might put a fresh piece of paper down there because that's going to get a bit gross. So I have a circle and then I have some parakeet party circles and a Tahitian Tide in the glimmer paper. Some half navy ones because I'll be able to hide those underneath. Tricky. A let's celebrate sentiment and a piece of Daffodil Delight embossed and a basic white thick basic white card base so folding this one over touching making sure I have really dirty hands so I need to try not to get that on my base because that would just be a bit too sad oh that side so gluing down of this right into the middle of my basic white piece leaving a little bit of white on either edge right into the white spot okay now to build this we want to have this piece in the middle and we want this on dimensionals most definitely because it's our main focal point and get that done Now, before I do fully stick that down, I do want my Tahitian Tide piece at the bottom. And a piece of... Night of the Navy. That's it. Oh, I shouldn't have took those. Should not have took those off yet, Miss Jane. Should have left those backings on to build where I wanted to put bits. I was a silly girl today. I do want that under there though, I think. One under there. And we'll have a mini mini Tahitian tide piece. Oh, Tahitian tide. It's a parakeet party piece. It's gonna pop in under under this side somewhere and my bigger parakeet party piece over here somewhere let's hope we got it in an okay spot and I've put it down again silly girl Miss Jane this piece Now pop that piece on and I can add my sentiment. Where did I just put? I'm going to rise that up and I've also got a piece of white 
say perfect. This is not as nice as twine. And my I haven't taken the backings off those, Miss Jane. I'm really smart today. <laughs> but when they don't stick, it's because you haven't done the right thing. And my glue hasn't stuck either. Do, 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 do. Stick down my bow for a fingernail in it. Give it a little time. Put my sentiment over the top. might need to trim trim that just a little and decide to put some bling on or no bling it's got bling from the glitter i think i don't think we want to go too much more with the bling I would have liked a leaf in here, Miss Jane. That would have been good. But that is my Joseph's Coat technique using the Simply Fabulous stamp set. I hope you enjoy this card. And until next time, keep smiling, keep stamping. Bye!